Then next up we have this Clinique um, Black Honey. This is the one that everybody was going crazy about because it like changes color or whatever once it's on your lips. So it becomes like a really dark brown, but it is newer to me. Clinique is not cruelty free, but it is newer to me. So I'm going to keep it and this looks really pretty on the lips. Next up we have these ones from e.l.f. Cosmetics. And I know a lot of people have said that these are nice, but I just, I don't know. I think I'm going to keep them a little bit more just to see if I actually like them or not. Um, but I think I'm not going to keep all the shades. So we have Cinnamon Dreams, which is this really pretty brown tone. going to keep that one. Then we have Spicy Sienna, which is this really pretty red. And then we have... Power Mauve, which looks, I think, kind of pink. Let me see. And I didn't really like it. Yeah, see, it pulls a little bit more pink on my lips. So I didn't like this one, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Next up, we have this one from Smashbox. This is their Always On Liquid Lipstick in Liquid Fire, maybe? And I want to say this is newer, but these go bad super fast. That's what I've heard people say. Yeah, see, it's already, like, pretty dried up. So I think it's time to let that one go. Also, the shade wasn't what I expected it to be. Next, we have another Persona. This is their E-Balms, and it's in the shade Manifest. This one's really old, though, and it's, like, falling apart. As you guys can see, it came like that, kind of broken, which was kind of a bummer. Um, so I'm not going to swatch it, but this was really pretty. I liked their E-Balms. They're very comfortable. They add a little bit of color to your lips. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm missing maybe one or two more shades of this one, but this is the Sephora uh, Rouge Lacquer or something something, and these are so beautiful. Like, I know Sephora is kind of like iffy of whether they're cruelty-free or not, um, but I bought these before, and I love them so much, and I think I'm going to keep them all. I have them in L15, L21, I have L42... L43 and L14 and as you guys can see these are all very nudie type of shades so pretty this pink right here is very special I really like it this one like barely dapped on the lips so pretty 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 we have this one which is L14 which is more like I don't even know brownie so pretty like a red brown so gonna keep all of them oh here we have another of the revlon one i showed you earlier this was in the rum raisin this is also really pretty which i'm gonna set aside to again check to see if they have them how pretty is that and see how it has like a little bit of a shine so pretty next up we have this one from lila b this was a mini set and it came with two um, I have Be Elegant and uh, Be Remarkable. So this is going to be Be Remarkable. It's a, a very dark lip gloss. And then we have, oh, I think it's a lip oil. And then this other one, which is Be Elegant. How pretty are these? So pigmented, so comfortable. I really like these. And Lila B is more of an expensive brand, but when I found that they had these, like, minis i bought them to try out and i'm actually happy that i did because when you have such a big collection you don't need you know full size every time so this is perfect for me and okay, next we have this one from ink velvet this is our number 23 this is a really pretty or maybe nutty nude nutty nude number three i don't know oh wait hold on let's start over here we have the peri para ink velvet 23 in nutty nude this is so pretty. They're super affordable on Amazon. And yeah, they're very comfortable. They're more like a um, liquid lipstick, like a matte liquid lipstick, but they're very comfortable. So I definitely need to look into buying more shades of this one, especially for the holidays, because this wears really nice. I love the packaging. It's very different. And I love like it's matte and all that. So definitely going to keep this one. This we're getting rid of. I got it in like a free something from Petite and pretty their glossy lip balm i don't like this at all so this is old this is a bare minerals bare pro lip in petal i couldn't find a shade i liked it and then this one even though i liked the formula because this was like too pale pink then i found another one i just didn't like either so 
gonna get rid of that these are one of my favorite lip oils these are the merit tinted lip oils in oh, what is this one marquage and dang i can never remember this one but this is like their more brownie shade so pretty i feel like it wears really nice too so this is more like the brownie one and then this is going to be marquage which was like perfect for like summer because it's really pretty like pinky kind of shade so so pretty so i'm keeping both of those this one here is one of my favorite things i think i know i have more i just don't know where they are the color pop glowing lips and this is in uh, what shade is this museum date these are so beautiful so underrated they're so comfortable they add like the perfect amount of color they wear so nice they look really nice like on top of like a lip um liner and yeah i love them i love how small they are you can carry them anywhere in your purse they don't take up a lot of space and i need to buy a lot more than these this one's a similar one from elf but i still like the color pop one better this is their sheer slick lip or something like that and it's in black cherry and i am going to keep it but i feel like these are not as pigmented as like the color pop one here we have a smashbox um lipstick in out loud and it's their matte and i think i'm gonna keep it because i haven't had this one for that long but it's so pigmented and very thin so even though it's like you know lipstick as you guys can see like it paints very fast so it's very pigmented but you don't get like a ton of product on your lips so um definitely keeping this one again i know i have more of these but i don't know where they are these are the fenty beauty lip shine or slip shines in goji jang man this is so pretty to me i love this shade so much it's like a very nude shade but it adds like a little bit of a gloss so pretty i feel like this is very similar to like the color pop one so if you can find a similar shade in the color pop i would say get the color pop because obviously it's going to be more affordable but they're both really pretty they wear really nice and i like them both all right, here we have another one from In Beauty Project, and this is in their glazed donut. This is another one that's very pretty shimmer, same doe foot applicator. Love them so much. Keeping it. Here we have a e.l.f. Ride or Die lip balm in Tough Cookie. This is extremely old, so I'm going to get rid of it. Um, this is also very old, never used it. It's from Kylie Beauty. It's their lipstick in Nova. I never even opened it because I didn't care to use that one. It came like free for something. This is the Item Beauty and it's their lip oil. I have it in the shade Come Through. It came in like a kit and I feel like it's really pretty. It's very sheer, but it looks really pretty on the lips and it's very comfortable. So I'm going to keep that one. Um, and then we have a mini Tom Ford lip color in the shade uh, Impassioned and i'm pretty sure this came in like some type of free something as well um and i am gonna keep it i don't think i've ever even used it yet but i know for a fact it's newer to me that's a really pretty shade all right not bad so now let's move on to these here which i'm not gonna swatch just because it's gonna make this video extra extra long um, but I know they're extremely old, so I'm probably going to get rid of, uh, everything in here. So the first one I see is this Revlon Color Stay Satin Ink in Silky Sienna. So this was supposed to be like a lip gloss type of thing and actually never really used it because I never liked it. Kind of thick and I didn't, wasn't my vibe. Oh my, these are so, so old. Um, here we have the Disney Collection ColourPop lipstick. I think it's a lipstick yeah in boo i'll get rid of that one since i'm keeping the lipsticks then we have this one which is moon child this was a collaboration with kathleen lights but as you guys can see this has uh had better days so we're gonna get rid of that also the packaging rubbed off this one i can't see what it says oh neat freak i forget why i bought this one somebody had recommended it but look how gross that looks Ugh, so nasty getting rid of that then we have another kathleen lights this was the 
Twinkling Lights, Kathleen Lights and ColourPop collection. Um, I mean, it still looks nice, but I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, and then we have another Princess Designer collection. Very old. And this next one, we have this Flower Beauty Mix and Match or Mix and Matte Lip Duo. This was really pretty. I'm going to set it aside so I can remember to look into it again, see if they have it. It's in Honey Nude, but basically you get like a lipstick on one side and then you open the other side and you get your lip gloss. I never really used the lip gloss. So I don't know if I would have purchased it, but I'm going to swatch it just in case you guys are curious. But that's what it looks like right there. Very pretty nude. Then we have a Sydney Grace. This was my first Sydney Grace purchase. Uh, I don't remember why I bought it. But I think this is their liquid lipstick. Yeah. It's a really pretty shade. But because I don't wear liquid lipstick, I don't know why I bought it. And now it's too old. <clears throat> this is the Beauty by Pop Sugar Be The Boss Lip Gloss. And I actually got featured... I think it was on their website after I wore this, which was pretty cool. Um, and it's a really pretty shade. But like I said, very old. Gonna get rid of that. Um, this was from Wet n Wild. It was one of their collection, um, their color icon lip gloss in Aquarius. That's the only reason why I bought it. I loved the packaging and I need to stop doing that because then I don't use them and then they go in the trash. So gonna get rid of that. Here we have a Domini Cosmetics Lemonade Lip Gloss. I actually never really cared for this lip gloss. Like the formula I never really liked. The color I never wore. So this was kind of a bummer. It smelled really nice. But yeah, I had this for way too long. Next we have this one from Han. I think that's how you say it. Han. And I think this came in a BoxyCharm or something like that. I know I didn't buy it. But this is the All Natural Lip Gloss. And it's in the shade raspberry chardonnay it was a really pretty shade i liked the formula it was okay um but i wouldn't repurchase it here we have an elf oh my gosh look at that how gross an elf tinted lip oil in nude kiss so old oh my it's like i don't even know completely it's like separated in the bottom and then we have the elf by Alyssa ashley collection and it's their nude rose i really like this one actually i thought it was really pretty the shade looked really pretty had it for way too long gonna get rid of that um uh, next up we have this one from milani <laughs> this is another one look at that oh no okay this is the keep it full nourishing lip plumper in rosy bronze so gonna get rid of that one and then here is a ColourPop lippy stick in brat pack i don't remember when i bought this but obviously it's been too long so we're gonna get rid of that uh we're also gonna get rid of this by beauty lip crayon because who knows when it's from these two ColourPop lippy sticks in aquarius and lumiere this used to be one of uh, the ones that kathleen lights used to always talk about which is why i bought them this used to be one of my favorite things. This is the ColourPop Just the Tint Lip Crayon. I don't even know if these are made anymore. And Cherry Pickin'. So pretty. I loved the chubby stick. It gave you like the perfect amount of color. But I've had it for way too long. This is another Bare Minerals Bare Pro. Uh, I think I bought this one after I bought that first pink one that I showed you guys. This is in Spice. But again, see how this one's also very pale orange? I don't know. And it looks nothing like on the stick. You see that? I don't know. So, did not like that one. Here we have some really old Ofra because they, they've even changed their packaging. And then they don't even look like this anymore. But we have Aries, Verona, Havana Nights, and Charmed. And I bought these all on recommendations of some YouTuber out there that used to say that they loved these so much. Oh, this is a new packaging right here. This is in, in Havana, no, Miami Fever. So this is definitely newer. But because I don't wear these a lot, I'm just gonna get rid of it. This is a Too Faced Melted Matte in uh, Cool Girl. And I think I bought this on like a 21 Days of Beauty or something, um, thinking that I was gonna wear it. But I don't know what I was thinking because... I don't wear a little for lipstick. 
This is so old. This is the Ciate Glitter Flip. And I'm going to keep it just because my sister bought it for me. But basically what you do is you just apply it on your lips. And then through the night you're supposed to like put your lips together. And it starts to flip into a glitter. And it's a pretty cool concept. However, it's not very um, useful because you're not going to be wearing glitter all over your lips. But still going to keep it. These two are from Carity. And they're the Lip Glocks in Fade Out and Lucky. I bought these to try out. Um, Carity is more like an indie brand. Um, their lip products were just okay though. So I'm going to get rid of those. Here we have another Just a Tint Chubby Stick or Lip Crayon from Colourpop. This one's in Waikiki. Then we have, what is this? A mystery thing. Don't remember. But it looks to be kind of like a similar chubby crayon thing. Gonna get rid of it. And then another just the tint from Colourpop in uh, Z Boys. Also another one of my favorites. You guys can see everything's rubbed off. The tip is pretty gone. So loved that one. This was a fail. I bought it because of what it says. The Outlast All Day Custom Nude. So it's supposed to be like you apply one on top of the other and it's supposed to last a very long time. Very comfortable. Well, I didn't think it was neither. I didn't really care for this one. So um, I think I wore it once and it was in the medium warm. Too old. Not good. Here we have more Colourpop. This is their matte lipstick ones. This is, oh no, the Ultra Satin Lip in revere something who knows in calypso oh this used to be my favorite shade from ColourPop, like my favorite shade and i don't think it exists anymore how pretty is that i used to wear this all the time all the time and and yeah i don't think it exists anymore sad story and then these two another satin lip and i think this was yeah the collaboration with kathleen light so Gonna get rid of that. Here we have this Girlactic Beauty Matte Lip Paint in Posh. So old. Like, so old. Then another L'Oreal. This is in their matte one. This is also really nice. I don't know what shade this is, but very old. A Maybelline. No, L'Oreal Infallible Paints Mattes. I remember somebody used to always talk about this one, which is why I bought it. I think I bought it on, like, Amazon or something because I couldn't find it anywhere. And it was just okay. And this is the By Beauty Caramelized um, Amuse Bouge Liquefied Lip. I remember everybody used to talk about this formula and say that it was so good, which is so sad that now they don't exist anymore. All right, so let's do some of these lip liners. I'm not gonna swatch them all. So we're just gonna quickly go through them um, and show you guys my favorites. This Jaclyn Hill one, I'm gonna keep just cause it's newer. Um, it's not my favorite. It's in their praline line, but the tone's really pretty. I feel like I don't have a lot that looks like these. That's the tone right there. Super pretty, like darker nude. So I'm going to keep that. Um, let me get them out instead. So I'm going to keep them in here. Uh, this is newer to me. This is their, the NYX lip pencil in Peekaboo Neutral. And wait, is this newer? I don't remember buying peekaboo. Hmm, we'll keep it. Uh, this is near to me. This is the Milani Matte Lip Crayon Ludicrous in, what's the shade? In So Obsessed. Oh, look how pretty. It's like a very super beautiful chocolate brown. So nice. I need to set this aside and create like a video using this because it's so pretty. Uh, we have a Revlon Colorstay Matte Light Crayon in, in what? Air Claire. And I think I got this because, uh, Katie Jenny Hughes was talking about them, but I don't really use this. So I'm going to get rid of it. This is very old. This is from, uh, Soap and Glory and it's their double ended lip contouring crayon in front page nudes this was really pretty i liked it a lot this one is actually one of my mom's favorites as well this is the buxom plumping lip liner and i have them in the shade restricted and hush hush i actually need to buy her more because she says she lost hers 
but they're like a chunky kind of lip liner. So that's one of the shades right there, Restricted. This one's not really my favorite, it's more like too pink. And this is gonna be Hush Hush. This one I really like because it's more like a nudey shade. So these are all from Essence. They all look very similar to each other, but I've had them for way too long. It's the Essence Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner, um, waterproof, and I have all these shades. Pretty sure they changed their packaging. Um, I think I heard Andrea Matilena talking about, about these, so I'm gonna have to look into them and see if I wanna repurchase them. And maybe repurchase like different shades. Um, then we have a MAC lip liner uh, or lip pencil in strip down. I'm actually gonna get rid of it. I don't like the formula. I feel like it's very dry and I just don't really like it. Uh, this is newer. This is the LA Girl Sugar and Spice Lip Liner. It's actually really pretty. It's like a really light nude, but it's like the perfect nude. Then I have a few from Sephora. These are my favorite lip liners. Like I said, Sephora lips are just really good. Um, it's just, I can't wait till they're cruelty free. So this is the Rouge Gel Lip Liners. And I have the shades Rosewood. It's cherry, nothing but nude, which is a really pretty nude color. Then we have dressed to the 90s. This is one of my favorite ones. And I love that they're retractable. How pretty is that? So pretty. One of my favorites for sure. And then creme de la creme, which is like a more pinky nude. These I've had for too long, so I'm gonna get rid of them. This is the Koki um, lip liners, and I bought them, I think it was like CVS or something like that. These were good, I liked them, but I've had them for too long. ColourPop, I've had it for way too long. And BFF2, these KW Beauty in Nude 2.5, I've had it for way too long, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Another K Beauty in nude three i think or something so i'm gonna get rid of that one this one from alamar i like their liners they're really nice they wear really nice but i've had this one for quite a while oh this is 24 months though maybe i'll keep this one this is my favorite lip liner the milani easy liner most natural i love that it's retractable i love that it's affordable the color is just perfection i've already gone through a whole one of these this is my second one and keep in mind i don't wear a lot of lip products so that says a lot all right i am so excited for this because honestly every time that i would open my drawer i would close it back up because it was so overwhelming to see all this stuff that i had that i knew i couldn't use anymore so this is like a fresh new start and i'm so excited so this here everything I'm getting rid of oh my gosh so many old products very gross and just things that I just don't like anymore and these are the ones that I'm keeping so good so these are all the lip liners and these are all the lip products so now they should fit in this little thing right here so yeah, I'm very excited about that. I'm very proud. Let me know how you guys thought I did. But that is gonna be it for this video. I will also link my playlist of my other declutters that I've done so far. And I think all we have left after this if I'm not mistaken, is the eyeshadow palettes. So stay tuned for that. That's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give me a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, I would appreciate if you would do so. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.